Of course, the most important thing that is coming out of Roe versus Wade being overturned is, of course, the memes. The memes are the most important part of this. And I'm going to share some memes with you right now. So, well, let me actually go over this with you real quick. So here's what I've been posting. So here are the uh, the breakdown of abortions in the United States. Um, and just to, and this is also for a lot of people, I know there's uh, the people that watch my videos. Normally it's a, uh, uh, I get a lot of people from the UK watching my videos, which is great. But here's the thing is that the way it's broken down, you would, in the way you're probably hearing about it in the, uh, um, in the news is that we're going to be getting rid of all the abortions. Well, here's the thing is that in, in this country, if you're someone like me who believes that abortion is wrong, except in very, very limited circumstances, um, all I want is to get rid of the, the abortions that are in the yellow. Like those are the ones I want gone. I, I, those are the only ones I want gone. So the woman aborted for social or economic reasons, or it was just an elective abortion, gave no reason whatsoever. I just want to get rid of those. Those two reasons, you get rid of those reasons for an abortion here in the US, I'm fine. If we get rid of the ones here in the yellow, we can go ahead and keep the ones here in the red. Okay? Resulted from an incestuous relationship. Basically raped by their father or their brother or something like that, fine. Okay? Same thing, uh, woman was raped. Um, I don't like the idea of punishing a baby for the sins of its father, but I do kind of get that. I would be willing to let that slide. <laughs> um, uh, the woman's life was endangered by the pregnancy? Absolutely. Um, my wife and I have talked about that repeatedly, especially uh, where we've been talking about having another kid. And um, yeah, uh, that's come up. You know, A woman's psychological health threatened by the pregnancy. I don't know about that one. That one I'm not happy with. But again, I'd be willing to kind of let that slide um, if if I thought that they could get you know a, a legitimate psychological evaluation that would prove that. Um, and then uh, a serious fetal abnormality. Again, I'm not big on that. Depending on what the serious fetal abnormality is, I would like to think that that's like an uh, um, ectopic the uh, ectopic pregnancy. And sure, that's you know, that threatens the life of the mother too. So, I mean, um, if the, if the baby is, you know, maybe, you know, doesn't have a brain or the heart is, you know, basically, you know, this kid will never, you know, the heart's going to basically stop by the time it's born, things like that. Again, these are things that I'm, I'm not going to be happy with, but again, that's why this needs to go back to the democratic process is so that people can debate these kind of lines on where they want abortion to happen in the uk this is from what i understand kind of a settled matter because it's gone back and forth and you've had parties come in you know had political parties all the various people come in and said okay well it's going to be limited here and and it, it's kind of a non-issue now from what i understand uh because you know it the votes are you know the votes are the votes and you know we've we've limited to this you know this timeline and you know, here's what you got to do if you want it after that timeline and before that. We don't ask questions. Um, that's all really that the the U.S. is doing here is we're going to what the U.K. From my understanding of what the U.K. has is that okay, well, we're going to have a democratic vote on when this happens, and hopefully we can come to some sort of balance and some sort of compromise on this that is acceptable to both sides. For me, I just want. I, I just want all of the ones where a woman is just killing her baby for either no reason or, oh, I can't afford it. And then if I want to, if me in this country, if we're going to be, uh, you know, giving money to something, let's not give money to abortions. Let's give it to adoptions. It, it costs way too much money to adopt in this country. It's way too much of a hassle. Let's make that easier. Stop abortions, more adoptions, and let's do that instead. But again, going back to the important question, the memes. Um, the best memes are really um, all of these women that have come out and said they're going on sex strikes uh, because of this decision. Um, yeah, all the feminists out there being like, I'm going on a sex strike. Yeah, this is, yeah, th this is great. <laughs> so I love that. That's probably the best one. 
Uh, I got a couple other ones here. Um, uh, for those of you who are fans of uh, Back to the Future, uh, the first Back to the Future, um, this is a, a great line from there. So the Supreme Court, when Roe v. Wade gets overturned, yeah, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are going to love it. So that's great to see. Um, the memes are, are, are really good. And then, of course... Uh, the patron saint of the unboard. Uh, she died, so your child might live. Um, and it's a picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg in a habit. So, yeah, um, the memes have just been great, and they just keep coming. So <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to all the memery over the next few months. But.